Hey, you are two minutes late. Well, I took a longer path today and it involved some turns. Why don't you just stick with one direction and take the straight path? You know the distance of the direct route from the bus stop to the school is only 500 meters, right? Yes, but it was raining and the ground was muddy and I didn't want to walk across the field. Therefore, I walked a longer distance. Here, let me show you. As you can see, if I took the normal route, I would have taken 5 minutes covering 500 meters because I would cut across the field with no turns or detours. But today, I didn't cut across the field. The app shows that I walked for 7 minutes covering 700 meters. 300 meters in this direction and 400 meters in that direction. I walked more but ended up at the same place. You ended up at the same place because the displacement is the same. Displacement? While you might have taken a longer path, your journey is ultimately from the bus stop to the school. Hence, while the distance is different, the displacement is the same. Wait, what? Let me show you here. This is your usual path from the bus stop to school. 500 meters in 5 minutes. Let's call this path A. This is your path today. 300 meters right, followed by 400 meters upwards. For a total of 700 meters in 7 minutes. Let's call this path B. So, while the distance travelled in path A and path B are different, their displacement is the same because they have the same start point and end point. Both start at the bus stop and end in school. Path A is the shortest path between the bus stop and the school. And we call the shortest distance or path between two points as its displacement. Hang on, so what you're saying is this. If I took a different path by walking all over the place and took however long as I wanted, as long as I start from the bus stop and end up in school, the displacement is the same? Yes. So said differently, displacement is a special type of distance. Special in the sense that displacement is the shortest distance between two points. Very good. You would notice that the distance between two points may be numerous. You could have walked upwards, then to the right, or walk halfway towards the right, walk back again, then walk upwards before walking towards the right. So, you would notice that for the total distance travelled, there was no fixed direction of travel from the bus stop to the school. One moment it was to the left, and the next moment, it was to the right. And then, it was upwards. So, no specific direction may be stated. Uh-huh. But because displacement is defined as the shortest distance between two points, there must be a fixed direction that you would need to take to get from the start to the end point. So, if I took a different route, the distance would be different, but the displacement would be the same since it starts from the bus stop and ends in school. Yes, very good. Now, let me ask you a question. If I run one lap around a sports track and back to the starting point, is my displacement zero? Hmm. 